What's up everybody, I'm the Gaming Goose coming at you again with another Fault video. Today we're going to be going over the factions because people seem to be really struggling with this concept. I'm going to go over each individual faction and then I'm going to tell you what I recommend you building depending on the position and hero that you want to be playing in Fault. First thing you need to do when you load into a game is to choose your two factions. These will heavily impact the rest of your gameplay as this will determine what kind of cards you should be using and your general play style. In general, there are five factions you can choose from, and each faction has three possible selections, except the purple faction, which only has two. The blue faction group is going to typically be for your mid laners and your mages. This currently includes Belka, Countess, and Gideon. The first faction out of the blue group is called Magician. This is going to give you extra mana regen and extra cooldown reduction. The second faction in the blue group is called Warlock. This gives you extra damage for every fifth ability you use, and it increases your movement speed after getting a kill. This is going to be especially good for heroes who need to get in, get a kill, and get out very quickly. The third faction in the blue group is called Queen. This gives you extra energy power every time you kill six minions, and it also gives you 8% ability vamp. Note that the ability vamp is only a third as strong for area of effect abilities, area of effect abilities being like Gideon's Rock. The purple faction is going to be good for mid laners and off laners. In mid lane, you could run this on heroes like Belka, Countess, and Gideon. Or in the off lane, you can take Belka, Countess, Greystone, Kwong, or Severog using this faction. The first faction in the purple group is Rogue. This lets you pass through enemy minions, meaning you don't have collision with the units. The second effect adds 100% critical strike chance for one attack. The second faction in the purple group is called Plague Doctor. Killing a unit causes enemies within 400 units of the death to burn for 60% of your basic attack damage over two seconds. This means if you're in lane and kill an enemy lane minion, the enemy in that lane, if they are within 400 units, will also burn for 60% of your basic attack damage. The second effect gives you true damage every 20 seconds on your basic attack that will deal 6% of the target's max HP. True damage simply means it does not take into consideration any physical armor or ability armor that the enemy is wearing. The green faction group is going to be good on junglers, offlaners, and some other heroes, for example, supports. In the jungle, you could run the green faction on Greystone, Chimera, Kwong, or Severog. In the offlane, you could run it on Greystone, Kwong, or Severog. And some of the other heroes, such as your supports that you can run the green faction on, include Muriel and Narbash. The first faction in the green group is called Titan. Not taking damage for 10 seconds will give you an extra shield for 8% of your maximum health. The second faction in the green group is Beast Hunter. This gives you reduced damage taken from neutral minion attacks. Note that this means jungle minions, not lane minions. The second effect gives you additional power and health based on the number of neutral minions that you kill. The last faction in the green group is Rook. This decreases the effectiveness of slows and also gives you additional physical and energy armor when you're stunned or hit by other crowd control abilities. This also stacks indefinitely. The red faction group is going to be good for your carries and your junglers that you're going to play as a hyper carry. For your carries, this is going to be good on Murdoch and Twin Blast, and the jungle, you're going to want to play this on Chimera and Countess. The first faction in the red group is called King. This will give you additional gold if you have allies within 2200 units. The second effect on King also gives you bonus gold on hero kills and assists. This faction is going to be especially good if you're very good at farming lane minions and if you play very aggressively looking for kills. The second faction in the red group is Ace. This gives you increased basic attack range and also gives you 30% additional critical strike damage. This faction is going to become increasingly useful as the game goes on. The last faction in the red group is Hunter. 
This gives you healing for last hitting enemy minions and gives you increased attack speed for attacking the same enemy three times consecutively. This is very useful in the early game, however this faction drops off very heavily by late game. The white faction is going to be best on your support heroes like Muriel and Narbash. The first faction in the white group is called Templar. Allies within 1600 units receive 6% of your physical and energy armor. The second effect also gives you an extra shield for 15% of your mana spent. The second faction in the white group is Clairvoyant. This gives your wards increased vision radius and gives you 12% cooldown reduction on your active items. Note this doesn't mean your abilities, but the actives on the items that you purchase from the item shop. The third faction in the white group is called Bishop. This makes your potions last 30% longer, meaning your mana pot and health pots will last for 30% longer. The second effect works closely with your heals and shields, as the recipient of those abilities will have increased attack speed. So hopefully that helps explain what the different factions are in Folk. But the question still remains, which two should you pick depending on your role in Folk? The remainder of this video goes over my recommended combinations, I've picked two for each different role. In the offlane, I suggest you take Titan and Plague Doctor. This combination will help you last longer and will also still allow you to be aggressive in the lane. As a secondary option, you can also take Titan and Rook. This is going to be especially useful if you're trying to build a very tanky offlaner as this will help you survive in lane and by late game, you'll become incredibly difficult to kill. In the jungle, you should always be taking Beast Hunter. This is one of the few factions that gives you benefits for farming neutral minions. The second faction you can take here is Hunter, which will allow you to be very aggressive. This is going to be especially useful on a hero like Chimera, as you're getting increased attack speed. As a second option for the second faction that you take, you can also use Rogue. Rogue is going to allow you to pass through enemy minions, meaning you can chase down enemy heroes even faster. In the jungle, since you're going to be rotating and trying to get kills from behind, this can become especially useful as you chase down that enemy carry. In the mid lane, I suggest you take Magician and Queen. The extra mana regen is going to help you stay in lane even longer, and if you're good at farming the enemy waves, you're going to get a lot of extra energy power by the end of the game. As a second option, you can also take Magician and Plague Doctor. Replacing Queen with Plague Doctor will help you in lane if you're good at farming again. This is going to give you extra poke on the enemy hero every time that you kill an enemy minion, meaning they're going to have to back more often and lose out on farm, whereas you're going to be able to stay in lane for a longer period of time. As a carry, I suggest you take King and Ace. This is going to help you both in the early game and the late game. In the early game, you're going to be getting extra gold for your lane minion kills, and by late game, you're going to have additional critical strike damage. The second option you can take as a carry is King and Hunter. Switching to Hunter will also give you extra sustainability in lane as you're going to get extra heal for lasting minions. As a support, you should take Titan and Templar. These are both going to help you and your carry stay in lane for longer periods of time. The second option is to take Templar and Bishop. Bishop is going to increase your potions and allow your heals to give your carry additional attack speed. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to check out this video. I really hope that it has helped improve your understanding of how factions work. Remember, these are just my recommendations on how to build your hero. You guys might have better ideas, but this video is really just intended for beginners who don't even know how to start. If you guys have any other questions, go ahead and post in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. Once again, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the flock. Until next time, good luck out there.